more powerful than anything else on Earth. The devastation that it caused was unimaginable. All hell would have broken loose. Its impact is global, but nobody realizes its true extent until a series of scientists working in different fields at different times all chance upon new evidence. A trail of destruction stretching from the Arctic to the equator. This event may have killed millions. It may even have kicked us into an ice age. It was like flipping the switch on the global climate system from hot the cold. But what's really scary is it could happen again. A modern day eruption of this volcano would bring fire, famine and death to millions of people. 75,000 years ago it changed the world forever. Now we can show you how. Few of the people here realize their tropical home could affect the lives of the entire world. Lake Toba lies in the northern part of the Indonesian island of Sumatra in Southeast Asia. It's one of the largest natural features of the southern hemisphere and is clearly visible from space. But Lake Toba is also home to a terrifying mystery. A mystery that lurked undiscovered for millennia. It would take the random encounters of scientists working on a range of unconnected research to bring it to light. In fact, the first clue comes from somewhere that couldn't be more different from this tropical paradise. In the early summer of 1988, scientists set out across the frozen desolation of Greenland, looking for the perfect spot to conduct their research. They're here to study the atmosphere and how it changes over time. After journeying across the ice, the scientists find their spot 787 miles from the North Pole. This far north, the ice is so untouched that it contains a record of the Earth's atmosphere stretching back 200,000 years. Throughout history, the chemicals that are in the atmosphere are captured by snowflakes as they form. Over thousands of years, this snow is compressed into layers of ice to form the ice sheet that's over a mile thick. By cutting down through the ice, scientists can obtain ice samples that fell as snow thousands of years ago. When they analyze these samples, they can find out what chemicals were in the Earth's ancient atmosphere. The deeper into the ice scientists look, the further back in time they can go. Climatologist Greg Zielinski helped reveal the secrets contained in the ice. Year after year, findings are as predicted. 
the chemical levels found in the snow were the same for long periods of the Earth's history. Then suddenly, Greg Zielinski gets the shock of a lifetime and sees something in the ice that defies all logic. When we got back to about 75,000 years ago, we found a particular piece of ice that gave us information that was just so exciting. Greg and his team look for tiny chemical fluctuations. But what they suddenly see is a huge leap in one particular chemical compound, sulfate. Without warning, around 75,000 years ago, the atmosphere had become saturated in massive amounts of this sulfur compound. Normally, there is only about 50 millionths of a gram of sulfate per cubic meter of the Earth's atmosphere. But these ice cores showed that at this point in the past, there had been 1,900 millionths of a gram per cubic meter, almost 40 times as much. This much sulfate in the atmosphere would trigger a chemical reaction choking the planet with one of the deadliest chemicals known to man. H2SO4, better known as sulfuric acid. Sulfuric acid is so toxic it can eat through metal. Enough of it in the atmosphere can devastate life everywhere. The concentration of the sulfuric acid was on the order of two to 4,000 megatons. That's a lot. That's a lot of material to be up in the atmosphere. This line on a graph hinted at a global event 75,000 years ago of unprecedented scale. Billions of tons of sulfuric acid had somehow found its way into the Earth's atmosphere. This yellow haze literally cloaked the planet. So where did it all come from? Something extraordinary must have taken place. The more I looked at the results, I knew we were looking at something that was just cataclysmic. Zielinski's team know something has happened to the Earth 75,000 years ago. But what? It would take another team of scientists thousands of miles away to answer that very question. Mike Rampino is one of the world's leading geologists. He has long been obsessed with life in the oceans. The amazing thing is, he can work out the entire history of our planet's climate from the shells of tiny sea creatures called foraminifera. During their lifetime, these minute creatures take in oxygen from the seawater. As the ocean temperatures and oxygen levels change, their shells change too. By subjecting these dead foraminifera to chemical tests, scientists can plot the changes in the oxygen atoms within their shells. From this, Rampino can calculate with amazing precision the world's ocean temperatures over many thousands of years. Mike Rampino analyzed data from all over the globe and found that the oxygen atoms in the shells remained the same, which means ocean temperatures were fairly constant for long periods of time. Then, suddenly, a few...